Hey what's up guys Sandeep here and in this video I'll try to make your development process much faster by using AI. So as you know AI is more powerful than ever before. So instead of debating whether AI is here to replace humans or their job I would like to leverage the power of AI to our advantage and save time and efforts. So sit back relax and let's dive into the world of AI where we can do things much more quicker and easier. What is ChatGPT? The tool that we'll be leveraging for our work is called ChatGPT and I believe every developer in this community is very much aware of this chatbot basically an AI chatbot which is by OpenAI uh, so I won't be discussing much on what is ChatGPT so instead I will jump right into what are the use cases so how you can make ChatGPT work for you so in this tutorial I'll show you six different ways by which you can use ChatGPT for your daily development so when you initially open ChatGPT, you should always follow the role-based instruction model. So what do I mean by that? As you can see in this step one, I have asked ChatGPT to act as a senior React developer with seven years of experience. And why did I do that? So I asked essentially the ChatGPT to act as a senior developer with that level of information and knowledge, as well as it will give a context to ChatGPT on whatever the question I will ask to it. So as you can see with the reply, it says, of course, I can do like I can act as a senior developer with seven years of experience. And after that, I did a follow up question, whatever I want to. So if you if you are looking at this video, you can pause this video and see how I have formatted the whole snippet that I have sent to chat GPT in the reply. What I want, I just wrote I want to act as a senior front end developer where I will describe the project details and so and so I have created like this so this is called a role based instruction so in context to the previous question that we asked to generate an application or the code snippet for an react application where uh, like the application needs to fetch an API which is essentially a Pokemon API and you can see whatever details we gave to the chat GPT it generated as a code snippet for the same thing so one thing I like about ChatGPT the most is that you don't have to repeat your question again and again, which is called essentially the chain of thoughts. You can chain your question one after the another, as you can see in the example that previously we told ChatGPT to like uh, generate a code snippet by using Pokemon API. But in this question, I, I just told ChatGPT, can you generate the same application using SpaceX API and ChatGPT went ahead and generated the same code with all the configuration that I asked beforehand. So we don't need to repeat again and again. ChatGPT always remembers the context of this topic. So the another way that we can utilize ChatGPT's power is by explaining the code. So as you can see in the example, I have copied a small code snippet and I have pasted here and I just told ChatGPT, can you explain me this part of the code? And by your surprise, ChatGPT will go ahead and explain you the whole code that you want. So the another way you can use chat GPT's power is by checking for errors. What do I mean by that? So if you have written a piece of snippet or a code, anything, and you want to check like if there is any error or if there is any error and you want a solution for that, you can paste the code snippet over here and ask chat GPT for recommended solution. Chat GPT will go ahead and either solve it for you or give you possible recommendation, which will help you to solve that issue in your code snippet. So the other way to leverage ChatGPT's power is by telling ChatGPT to write test cases for you. It's quite complex, but ChatGPT does in a way where it will give you possible recommendations for your test cases. And also you can use chain of thoughts to repetitively ask uh, whatever the test case you need. What do I mean by that? I'll just explain in a couple of seconds. So as you can see in the screen, I have told ChatGPT to test, write a test case for this code snippet and using Jest or RTL, which is React Testing Library. So it was a simple application. It's just a counter and there is an increment and a decrement button. So on click of the button, one should increment and another button, it should decrement. So chat GPT went ahead and generated a possible solution for this test cases. So here you can see chat GPT provided us with this possible code snippet for the test cases that we want uh, for the counter that we have created earlier uh, on the code snippet. And it has given you a possible solution 
and do remember that this solution is not the intact solution for example there may be a scenario that you need the button to be clicked only once so chat gpt may miss that uh, test case because it doesn't know the total use case or the flow of the application but again if you use chain of thoughts and tell chat gpt go ahead and write a test case where the button will be clicked only once then you will be more than happy that chat gpt will do the same thing for you so you need to use chain of thoughts and like to use the power of test cases uh, like where chat gpt will generate the whole lot of test case for you and you can keep on asking whatever the your like you just need to feed the details to chat gpt on what you need and chat gpt will be more than happy to give you the details and the explanation why it used so another thing it can solve problem statements so what i mean by that you can solve the essay questions using chat gpt's power you just need to feed the detail to chat gpt and not only dsa it can solve any numerical problem either coding mathematical or anything you just need to find a way to like give a proper detail to chat gpt now as you can see on the screen it's a js problem where i have initialized as input and i want the output to be some some of a kind like that i have written input and output clear so chat gpt went ahead and understood whatever it was required and it generated the code snippet for the possible solution for the input that we give and the output that we get so the last way you can use chat gpt's power of power is to refactor your code to make your code much more readable for example let's say you have a function which can be done in three to four lines of code but you have written a complex solution which takes 10 lines to make the same like function to make the same function work so you can copy paste the same code and paste on chat gpt and tell chat gpt make this one more readable and refactor this code and by your surprise chat gpt will go ahead and refactor your code not only it will give you a readable code but also it will give you more compact and the best solution to it and even you can use chain of thought if you think that you need more refactorization of the code and you can go ahead and ask can you refactor it more and again and again and chat gpt will give you possible two to three recommendations for refactoring the same code so that was pretty much it for this video i hope you guys liked it and you will use all these methods that i showed you on your next development process do like and share this video as it took a lot of efforts for me to creating this video if you're new to this channel do consider subscribing to our channel to see more content like this thanks for watching